What is this crap? I'm asking you, what did you make for me? How do I supposed to eat this? <gasps> oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll do something. I expect else. some decent food when I get home, not this garbage. <laughs> you gonna eat it yourself. Come here. <laughs> You want to make me even more angry, huh? <laughs> what do you want? Excuse me. I just heard some loud noises. And I want to make sure that everything is okay. Mind your own business. Uh, do you know that domestic violence is against the law? I'm gonna call the police right now. I said get lost and stay out of the way. This is a private matter between me and my wife and it's none of your business. You stick your nose in there and I'll fix it immediately. Oh. Do you understand? Understood. Hi, I'm Officer Owen Pike. This is my partner, Nick Butler. Nice to meet you. We received the complained about the strange noise coming right from your apartment. We just want to make sure everything's okay. Of course, officers. <laughs> Come on in. Please. My name is Marcus McDowell. This is my wife, Mickey. I'm sure there's been a little misunderstanding here. Because uh, I admit we had made some noise, but uh, I'd say we're planning kids, if you know what I mean. And, uh, I think we just were misinterpreted. My wife and I, we're very happy together. Is this honey? Yeah, that's right. Thank you for your concern. Ms. Bates, looks like uh, we have a reason. I know exactly what I heard. No way this is a happy family. You have to, I don't know, check everything out. Ma'am, why don't you do your job and let us do ours? Don't you have clients waiting for you? Ms. Bates, what's going on between them? It's their business. Sorry for bothering. Let's go. Thank you for your service, officers. Have a nice day. Hey. Two. What do you want from our family? Huh? I, I stay away from my husband. You got care. this? That's enough. I'll take care of it. Go back to your room. Now you, Scout Girl. If I'll see you again, walking around me or my wife, you'll forget how to walk. Am I clear? This is my last warning. Get out!
Make it. you out of here. <sighs> please, 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 please. Stop, 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 stop. Don't panic. I'm not gonna live here. Do you hear me? No, you should go. No, no, no. Go, please go. Run. No. Mickey! Mickey! Oh, baby, you... What the heck? Have a family? Right? Can you, can you hear me? Look at me, look at me. Look at me! You think I can find her, huh? She'll come back by her own. But with you. Uh, but I have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. What do you think you're doing, huh? Hold him. It's that girl. She set me up. You've been here. You suffer for yourself that we are fine. You're right. Mickey, Mickey, tell them. Tell them or I'll make you another anniversary. Whoa, 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 whoa. The only anniversary you'll get is in the prison. Take him away. Right. Leave me alone. Mickey! Well, Mrs. Bates, on behalf of our department, I want to say thank you for everything you've done. Mrs. McDowell, I'm sorry for not understanding you for the first time. Lawrence. Mickey Lawrence. He's not the man I fell in love with. No. And I just don't know where and I don't remember when it was too late. Mickey, it's never too late. You always have to fight yourself and your freedom. There is always a way out. Even in the most hopeless situation like you did was. It's a very brave thing to do. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I don't know. I, I wouldn't have dared. We did it.